zero to wherever I get to the end of that road. There it is, full throttle. Twenty-five miles an hour to the in that short little distance. Now that you know how slow this sweet looking Aprilia SR50 is, which is very depressing since it used to go 50 miles an hour. They used to have a two stroke fuel injected uh, 50 cc, they'd go 50, but because of EPA reasons in the United States, we get this guy. Just so you know, this is a Piaggio motor and there's two versions of this motor. There's a two valve and a four valve head. The four valve is what you pay a little bit extra money for so you can get more performance out of it. You remember we went 25 miles an hour on our little test strip. Well, this one's the four valve head, the performance one. You can only imagine what would happen if it wasn't the four valve. So here's our solution. We've got the Melosi 80cc big bore kit. Brings them from a 50cc to an 80. That's this kit here, just like this. And then we have the four valve um, camshaft and variator rollers. So that right there is gonna wake this guy up. Um, I can't wait to see what it does. There are some things that we did not do that we could still do, and that'd be the transmission gears. We did the transmission gears, then we would go have a little bit higher top speed. We are doing the variator rollers. We can also do a performance exhaust and get rid of the um, air filter and do a uh, pod style air filter. By doing that, we'll have to rejet the carburetor, but this should bring this thing to life. I really doubt that this is gonna outperform the Ditec motor, but we should see. Um, but remember, this motor is the same motor that's in all four-stroke Vespas and Piaggios, 50 cc's. So that includes the uh, Piaggio Fly, the uh, LT50, or the I'm sorry, the LX50, the LX50S, um, this Aprilia Mojito, or the Aprilia Mojitos, this Aprilia SR50. There's a, a bunch of them that use this motor. And it's pretty easy to identify just by looking at it. Just give you another little view. There you are. All right, got the motor out. It's actually pretty easy. Got it out in maybe, uh, what is it like, 20 minutes maybe? Here it is. And do all this on the bench. Everything unplugs real nice and easy. See all that? Just, that unscrews, but that unplugs. Your stator unplugs. Carburetor is unhooked with all the uh, wires still attached to it, like this. Cables and wires, it's still attached. Then, of course, I undid the brake. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. Putting it back is a little more difficult. Uh, there's only two bolts that hold the engine in. You got the shock and then the main bolt. That's it. And then all the wires. I had to take all the body panels off, too. So, here we go. Okay, I want to show you really quick the difference. Here is the stock piston and the stock cylinder and the stock cam. Here is the aftermarket, Melosi. There's a quite a big difference. Quite a bit of big difference, so 30 more cc's basically. Um, as far as the cam goes, if you look straight down, see how this, is, this has a flatter top? The valves stay open longer. It's got a longer duration on the new cam, which gives it more air in, more exhaust out, more performance. So, there's a difference, makes a pretty big difference. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna cruise this uh, high top speed. This is the um, Melosi Big Board Kit, Melosi Cam. We'll cruise it down this street, ready?
a little over 45, a little over 40 miles an hour. Um, that was on a slight uphill. A lot more power. And I forgot to mention that we did uh, five gram Dr. Pulley sliders as well. So this thing comes to life. We'll do a little quick, quick little. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know how, how easy it is to tell on video, but night and day difference. Check out our uh, how-to video on how to install this big board kit or buy the big board kit and cam from us, rollingwrenchdenver.com.